Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about waveforms. Now when it comes to the waveform monitor, I personally can't think of a simple one-liner that tells you exactly what the waveform does, but I assure you it's really easy to understand. Now the waveform is more of a video feature and I like to think of it as a step up from the histogram. Now you see the waveform mainly during production and post-production, so when you're shooting, when you're exposing for your image, the waveform can be there as an exposure aid and during post-production you particularly see the waveform during the process of color correction and color grading. The waveform is relative to your image from left to right so here I have Adobe Premiere up on the screens and I'm going to pull up an image. Here is the image and here is the waveform that's generated from the image. The left side of the waveform corresponds to the left side of the image. The right side of the waveform corresponds to the right side of the image. I'm going to pull up a visual here. So for example, this exact part of the waveform represents this exact part of the image. So that applies from left to right of the waveform. So that applies for the horizontal axis of the waveform. What about the vertical axis? It's really simple. Towards the top of the waveform means brighter, towards the bottom means dark. In fact, the top ceiling of the waveform represents 100 IRE, so basically pure white and the bottom floor of the waveform means crushed blacks. So let me pull up that image on the screen I had earlier. So the image right now is a gradient I've generated that goes from pure black gradually to pure white. And have a look at the waveform that's generated from this image. Towards the left of the frame, we can see it's pure black and it slowly ascends to pure white as we progress to the right edge of the image. So this is how the waveform monitor works. Let's pull up some more complex imagery now. So the actual waves you see in the waveform represents pixels. The brighter the waves are, the more pixels it represents. So for example, we have a few bright lines on the top of our waveform here. And if we look at the image, we have a lot of clipped highlights. So all these have been clipped to pure white and we have a lot of them. That's why these lines up on 100 are so bright. And over here, we can see there's quite a chunk of mid-tones. So this part of the waveform definitely corresponds to our cat here. So this cat, as we can see, has a luminance of about 20 to 35-ish IRE. Now this part of the image is mainly bright stuff and there's quite a bit of clipped highlights here. So we can see the waveform pick up towards the high luminance values and we have a bright line at the ceiling of the waveform representing all this clipped business here and then the waveform dips back down because here is a speaker in the background and the speaker is dark so this line here definitely represents this part of the image and towards the right edge it picks back up we have a bit of mid-tones over here that's my window and that's how you read a waveform Another example, the left part of the frame is mainly dark and the right part is mainly bright. So we can see the waveform. On the left part, there's a lot of these shadows and mid-tones and towards the right, it starts to pick up and we can see there's a lot of clipped highlights. You can still see some shadows here that probably corresponds to this part of the image over here. And when you hit playback and the subject moves in relation to the background, you can really start to make out which part of the wave represents your subject. So for example, we can see this little part here represents the exposure of my cat. So how do you actually use waveform? If your camera has a waveform monitor, it is a massive help when shooting, especially during exposure. Just pull up the waveform monitor and you can straight away tell at a glance there are clipped highlights or if there are crushed blacks. And it really helps to identify exactly how bright your subject is, especially when you're shooting out in the field and you can't see your monitor clearly. And sometimes it's simply too risky to judge the exposure of an image simply by looking at it on a monitor. The waveform interprets that image into rock solid exposure data for you. During color correction as well, it is also massively helpful. So for example, I shot a very flat footage and I would like to push my shadows down as far as possible without crushing them. Now, if I were to do that by simply eyeballing it, it will be a hit or miss. I might not nail it and it's going to put a lot of strain on my eyes. But with the waveform, so let's pull up this image and I'm going to call up curves. Give me a moment. So here it is. I'm going to slowly bring the shadows down. 
And just as the wave grazes the zero floor, I know this is exactly how far I can push my shadows before I crush them to pure blacks, because if I crush them to black, then I lose detail. Now, of course, this is just an example. Pushing the exposure of your subject this far down looks horrible. So that's all I have to say about waveforms. Let me know in the comments if I have successfully explained waveforms to you, or you still have not a clue what the hell are waveforms and how they work. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions and comments, just dump them in the comment section below. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.